So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got this glowy skin makeup look. <music> It's Tali Rose and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I would love to have you here so please click that subscribe button down below. That would mean the absolute world to me. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got this glowy skin makeup look. Um, I also showed you my skincare beforehand as well. How to achieve that sort of glowy skin look. Um, and then this is sort of a soft glowy everyday makeup look that you can just literally wear to the supermarket <laughs> um yeah so if you want to see how i got this look then please keep on watching so i'm going to be starting by showing you my skincare sort of morning skincare routine um because i feel like the skincare part is just as important as makeup so i'm going to start off with this simple micellar cleansing water i'm going to cleanse my face with this and it's obviously a water boost um, cleanser, so it's definitely hydrating and it just feels really nice on the skin. The next product that I'm using was actually gifted. So this is the Skin Kissed um, Face Serum. I've been testing this out for a few weeks now and it is amazing. And I actually, oh, I actually have a discount code. So if you go on the Skin Kissed website and use the code TALIAROSED, um, that will get you 15% off, I think it is. And it's definitely worth it because this product is amazing, but I think you can get it on Amazon as well. But I'll leave the link to the website down below and my code so you can use that. This has been amazing. It's amazing at making my skin glowy. I don't know if you can see. This camera isn't the best for like picking up like my skin but yeah it's really glowy and hydrating and I absolutely love it and then as well I'm just going to use this revolution hyaluronic acid plumping and hydrating solution this is also a serum I can never get the lid off this this is also amazing I love using this serum but I think serums are so important and I never used one until I got that one. This is also really hydrating and nice. It just feels lovely on the skin. And then moving on to my day cream. So this is the Revolution Hydration Boost Lightweight, Lightweight Hydrating Gel Cream. So I use this in the day and then at night I just do the same skincare but I just use this. So I'm just gonna dot this around my face. Finally, I'm going to use this Revolution Pigment Boost Pigmentation Intense Eye Cream. Um, this is the first ever eye cream I've ever used, so I can't really say whether it's good or not. I haven't really noticed a difference, like my dark circles are very much still dark. Okay, so that is my skincare done. So my face is nice and glowy and ready for my makeup now. I'm trying to show you what my skin looks like, but... My skin just has a really nice glow to it and yeah, I'm going to go and do my makeup now. So now I'm moving on to makeup, which is I'm sure everyone's here to see. So um, it took me a while to kind of perfect that glowy look. Um, do you know like the Ellie Darby sort of glowy skin, really healthy, hydrated skin? I really, really wanted to achieve that look because I do have very, very dry skin. So I really, really wanted to get that dewy look, especially for like spring, summer. I just think it looks really, really nice. So I've been trying out a lot of products recently to try and get that look. And I feel like I've got it. I feel like I've achieved that look. So that is the makeup that I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. But I'm going to start with the number seven skin illuminator, which is just this little, it's like a highlighter, but I think you can use it as like a primer as well, so that's what I use it for. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit of this onto my hand. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just put this all over my face. Just rub it in like it's a moisturizer or whatever. Obviously my skincare really helps with that glowy skin, but this is just even more illuminating. Okay, so this is the thing that has like made this whole makeup look. Um, so it's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Um, that's what it looks like. I've just got the mini version because I wasn't sure on my shade and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, so I got the mini one because this is so expensive, this stuff. 
Um, but oh my god, it's so worth it. It's amazing. I'm just going to put a little tiny, tiny bit on my brush just because a little bit goes a really, really long way. And yeah, it like really spreads around the face. Um, it is a little, little bit too dark, but it kind of matches my tan like down here. Like my neck is just not tan at all. I just kind of dot it around my face. But I was looking for like a CC cream that um, just looks like your skin but better. And this is definitely it. Like... It just gives you that glow, but then doesn't give too, too much coverage, so it still looks like your skin. Just blend it down my neck, because like I said, it is a little bit too dark for me. And it also doesn't feel like you've got anything on your skin too, like it just feels like you've got moisturiser on or something. So if you want something like that, I think I got mine off Cult Beauty, I think. So that is what the skin is looking like, it's nice and glowy. But I'm now going to use the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Concealer. I think this is a high coverage concealer, so... I definitely need that on my dark circles so I'm just going to squirt a little tiny bit underneath my eye, eyes and like around my nose area. I'm going to blend that in with a beauty blender. Okay so that is concealer done. Now I don't powder because obviously I'm going for like a glowy skin look and I don't really need to powder because like I said I have dry skin anyway so I don't really have a need to powder but sometimes I do say if it's I'm wearing this makeup like all day then I will like put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes and if I do I use the Revolution trans Translucent Powder. I don't even know what it's called, it's like all rubbed off, but I think that's what it's called. But next I'm going to cream contour, so I use the foundation contour stick by Primark, and this is in the colour Chai. And you literally don't need a lot of this either, you just literally just use like a dash like that. That's literally all I use, maybe a bit on the end of my nose in here. And then I'm just going to blend that in with another buffer brush. Look at how easy that blends out though. Like it literally just melts into the skin. I've never used like a um, cream bronzer like that's this good before. It's just amazing. It just really easily blends into the skin. So as soon as Primark opens, get your hands on one of these. I think Primark's opening quite soon actually. Maybe in like two weeks or a week or something. So that's exciting. But imagine the cues like, oh. So next I'm going to use blush, um, now I'm not going to use another cream product, I'm actually using a powder, this is dirty as well, I'm so sorry, um, but this is just the Thin Lizzy Sweet Face Blush Trio, I'm actually using quite a few Thin Lizzy products but I love this blush set, it's so like highlighty and nice, so I'm obviously going to use this shade, this is my favourite one, it's more like a deeper natural blush shade um and i just put this like kind of on the apples of my cheeks and it just adds such a glow can you see like the highlight i'm not sure if you can see it but it just adds such a nice glow to your skin and then i also add a little bit on my nose just to add that like sort of sun kissed um sunburnt sort of look and then like i just tap whatever's left like on my forehead now to use a little bit of bronzer i'm just going to use the hula Benefit bronzer and I'm just gonna go kind of where that contour was and just go over it This just kind of blends the blush and the um, Bronzer together. Okay, so mom decided to start sanding some wood down. So <laughs> I just had like a massive pause Um, but I've done bronze all my bronzer I've like bronzed down my neck a little bit just to match like the color of my tan don't know if you can see um and now I'm moving on to highlighter. So I literally haven't been able to find a highlighter as good as this one ever. And if you go back to like, I don't know, like two years ago on my videos, I was using this highlighter. And it's discontinued, so I'm really, really sorry. But I will try and find a highlighter that's as good as this. But I just haven't found one yet. But it's the Tanya Burr Illuminating Powder in Warm Bronze. I have absolutely well and truly loved this for like I don't know like three years I don't know if that's gross but look how like empty it is I dropped it and smashed it <laughs> um but honestly this is my favorite highlighter ever and I have to be honest this is literally what I use all the time um but I'm sure there's other like warm bronzy sort of highlighters out there but I just haven't found one that I love enough um, so as you can see my skin is quite highlighty anyway but I'm just going to put another highlighter on top of that just because I mean look at that highlighter I just 
I can't. But I adore this. Like, I literally adore this. And it's the best highlighter I think I've ever used, ever. That is sort of my skin makeup done. I'm just going to set that with the Revolution Glow Fix Spray. Um, everything's just gross because I've had it for, like, years. But uh, I think I got this last year and I think it might still be in stock. But I'm not sure. This is amazing for setting your... Um, makeup because I haven't used any powders or anything so like that sort of set into my skin so I'm going to move on to eyebrows now. For eyebrows I've been trying to do the whole soap brow thing. Um, I'm not very good at it but I got this soap from I think it was B&M so that's what it's, it looks like and then I just used like a um, spoolie. It's really dirty. This is the one that I used. And then I just get a setting spray. This is the Pro Fix spray by Revolution again. Can you tell a little revolution and you just kind of spray it onto the little bar of soap and then you take your little spoolie and I just sort of like rub it in there until I've got enough on my brush and then I just brush it through my brows and honestly I've never known my eyebrows to like stay in place this well like literally it's it like glues them down that soap was literally like like 50p or 60p or something from B&M so it's definitely worth it and then all you need is some spoolies but you can get them from like Amazon but that is what I do with my eyebrows um so quick and simple but I have quite dark bushy eyebrows anyway and this is the um makeup obsession brow goals pencil by the way I absolutely love this I don't think I've talked about this in a video but this is insane if you want a dupe for the benefit what's it called Oh my god, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. But you know what I mean. Um, yeah, this is like the best dupe for it. And I've just got mine in the shade Dark Brow. The Precisely My Brow, that's the one. <laughs> so this is like a little trick that I like to do sometimes. I take the same pencil and I like to draw like little freckles on my nose. So I already have this freckle here. I have a few like freckles dotted around. But obviously you cover them with makeup, so... I'm just basically going over my freckles with this pencil. So I've done the freckles and then I just sort of tap them in with my finger just to like sort of blend them out a little bit better so they're not as harsh. And then I go in with a different um, pencil. I think this is actually a liquid eyeliner, yeah. Um, this is the Extreme Collection, actually, 24 hour felt tip liner and this is in the shade brown. And I just go over like a few of them with this. There you go, so that is my freckles done, that's how I do my freckles. Okay, so moving on to my eyes, I like to keep these quite simple, so I literally just used my bronzer, so this is just the Hula Bronzer, on a fluffy brush, and I just literally just messily go over my eyelids, like sort of in my crease, and just blend this out. And then I just take my highlighter again, the Tanya Burr highlighter, and I just take like a short little stumpy little brush. And I just go in the corner of my eye. So just to highlight like the inner corner. And then I also drag this up. It just makes your eyes look a little bit more awake and open. And it just ties all of the highlightiness together. <laughs> But yeah, that is what I do for my eyes. Sometimes I just leave it like that and just put a little bit of mascara on and that is me good to go. Um, but today I'm going to do my eyeliner. So I'm going to use the eyeliner that I used on my freckles. And this is obviously in brown. Um, I just think brown looks a little bit softer on the eyes. Um, yeah, it just looks a little bit more natural. And I just do a wing, like a half wing on my eye. Um, it just like lifts the eyes. And then just fill it in. But do you see that like the brown isn't as um, harsh as a black eyeliner? I just feel like it looks a little bit more subtle. So I'll do the other eye and I'll get back to you. Okay, so that is my eyeliner done. So I'm now moving on to mascara. So I've started curling my eyelashes recently. Um, and this makes a massive difference to like the curl of my eyelashes. And then I'm going to use the Revolution Curl Elevation Curl Mascara. And then going in with my mascara. This is incredible, this mascara. Okay, so that is the eye with mascara. I'm not sure if this is in focus, but that's the eye with mascara. And then that's the eye without. 
there's such a massive difference. So that's my mascara done. Um, I don't put mascara on my bottom eyelashes just because I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit too heavy and dramatic. I probably would only wear um, bottom lash mascara if I was going on like a night out or something. But I just think it looks a lot more natural just to have mascara on the top lashes. I'm also going to put some little falsies on the outer corner. Do you know like when you cut off your fake eyelashes just to like cut them to size? The cut offs of them I would sometimes put in the corner of my eye just to make them look a little bit more fluttery so I think I'm going to do that. The eyelashes are just glowing down so if you can still see like the white glue that's why. Just moving on to lips so I'm going to use this Kiko lip liner this is in the shade 532 i absolutely love this i use it all the time and i use this primark lipstick in the shade fudge this is very well loved too i literally wear this lip combination like every single day um oh! and then on the lipstick So that is the finished makeup look. This is the sort of makeup that I've been wearing pretty much every single day. Obviously I like take away certain things or add certain things depending on the occasion but obviously there's not much that we're doing right now anyway. So yeah this is pretty much what I've been wearing in videos and things like that. Um, so I really really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you like this makeup look. Um, if you did enjoy it please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.